Hey, Chef Des coming at you from beautiful British Columbia, Canada. I want to tell you another Elvis story. I shared one recently about my trip to his uh, Beverly Hills home at 144 Montevale uh, back in 1975. And in that video, I mentioned that I was, I had been to Graceland for the first two times and only two times of my life uh, over the past uh, few years. Actually, it was October 2018 was my first time there and last July, July 2019 was my second time there. And something pretty incredible in my opinion happened on uh, my last trip there in July 2019. But let me uh, sort of bring you in as to how this all took place. When I went the first time in October 2018, I was hosting a culinary tour through the South, and it was uh, Nashville, Memphis, New Orleans, and uh, obviously one of the places we stopped at was Graceland. And it was a, a very monumental time for me to be, actually be there. I've been a fan since I was a little boy, and to actually be at Graceland, it was absolutely incredible. But because I was in charge of and overseeing um, over 20 people on our group, my headspace just wasn't there. My, I was too concerned about everybody to be fully into the presence of being at Graceland. And so uh, I didn't get very emotional. It was great and, and phenomenal, but it didn't touch me as, as much as I thought it, it would have. And again, because um, I just wasn't fully there, I was too concerned about my guests. The second time we went, I went with my family, we did a trip to Florida and back, and, and again, one of the places we stopped was Graceland. And they just let me have my time there. They just let me be by myself uh, at his grave uh, as for as long as I wanted. I really pre appreciated that. And uh, you see some photos there. Uh, that's me there. Um, and it was really great. And then when we were... You know, we spent a bit of time there. Then we were walking down the driveway and I was just commenting to my wife, uh, you know, just how incredible uh, it is to be be there, be at Graceland. And we were walking down the driveway and, and we happened to look at the trees. And I said to my wife, imagine if these trees could talk, the stories they would tell about all those years, you know, of Elvis living there and the fans and, you know, even like uh, when he died and all the commotion and just hundreds of thousands of stories these trees could tell if they could talk and I said I'm just gonna turn around and take some pictures of these trees I'll show you some here so like one of the shots here yeah so here here it is you know just walking down the driveway again turning around just taking pictures of the trees it wasn't until um, later that I discovered something really incredible about one of these pictures uh, so we went on that, that morning after visiting Graceland, we went on to uh, Nashville, spent the day in Nashville, and we stayed at a hotel in, in Nashville. Prior to our, our stay in Memphis, uh, we were in Savannah, Georgia, and we stayed at the Marshall House, and Savannah is known to, for being one of the most haunted cities in the USA. I was especially hoping to capture an orb or something from the photos at, our, at Marshall House. And so my daughter and I were looking at the photos, uh, trying to see if we could see anything. There wasn't any images, anything. There's nothing out of the ordinary of the ones from the Marshall House in Savannah. And so I just continued looking through the photos, getting into our visit from to Memphis and Graceland. And, and then I stopped and looked at one of these photos of the trees. And this is one tree in, in specific that's in this photo. And I thought, wow, look at this. I'll show it to you. Let me, let me just pull it up here. Something unusual about this picture. I see a little something in the background. And I'm looking at it, and then I start enlarging it on my phone. And like that's that looks like Elvis's face. It really does. And I was like, oh my goodness, you guys, come and look at this. And I showed it to my family. My son was like totally taken back. He says, you're not going to believe this. I said, what? He says, well, we were there and you were touching the grave and, and having your moment and stuff, I, I wished with all my might that Elvis would show himself to you because you're such a, a big fan and this means so much to you. And I, I wished so hard that he would show himself to you. And the hairs on the back of my neck stood up and I am like got chills and like, wow. And I believe, I believe this is the ghost of Elvis. Now I'm gonna, these photos haven't been retouched at all. They haven't been enhanced. 
nothing. They're digital photos. I have a crop to make it bigger that I'll show you. And that's all I've done was crop it so it appears larger so you can see more detail what I'm talking about. But again, I haven't done anything to them. Let me pull that up here. There's, there's a little closer right there. And you can believe whatever you want. You could believe that, you know, it's the sun, but if you look at it, it's in the background and overlapping the tree. Um, I've had a person tell me, oh, it's a lens flare. Um, and you can come up with any excuse in the book if you're a non-believer. Uh, and I get that. Hey, everybody has an opinion. I'll probably have some comments on here saying, oh, it's not that, it's this or whatever. But what are the chances, okay, you're in the yard of Graceland and your son makes a wish like that in a place that means so much to you. You just finished saying to your wife, imagine if these trees could talk and you feel an urge to turn around and just take a pictures of the trees, not even of Graceland or the wall, but the trees. I just had the surge to do this. This shows up in one of the photos. Very similar. I mean, obviously it's a distorted uh, Elvis face, if you will, but pretty close looking to Elvis with the glasses and everything else. What are the chances of having that in a photo in the trees of Graceland with all these things leading up to it? Obviously there's a chance that there's not, but I believe there's a bigger chance that it is. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I've had a few little uh, things with ghosts in the, in the past and maybe in future videos I'll, sh I'll share them. This is my only Elvis ghost story I can I can tell you and take it for what it's worth and I appreciate you watching.